Hi, I'm Wade from Thoroughbred Diesel, and today we're going to be showing you S&B's new tool mats. S&B has come out with a better mousetrap in their silicone tool mats. These are compression molded silicone tool mats. They are, um, we're going to go through a lot of the features of these tool mats, but what I want to talk to you about first off is the different parts that they offer here. Now they're going to offer all of these mats in five different colors. You're going to be able to get green, blue, red. They also have pink and charcoal. They are coming out with those to be, uh, as far as part numbers go, you can buy each of the trays individually or you can buy them all together. So you can buy the little tray by itself. This is the medium tray. Then you have the big tray. And then you can buy all three pieces in one part number which has the large tray, the medium tray, and the small tray all together. Now, it, when you buy that kit, all three of those pieces fit together, so uh, it doesn't take up too much space. So, you know, let's talk about uh, why you need these. Again, this is just a better mousetrap. The silicone being as flexible as it is, um, it is very slip resistant. So not only are uh, your tools not slipping around inside of here and the parts that you're working on are not slipping around inside of the tray, they don't slip on the uh, surface that you have them laying on. Uh, so it really, really makes it very secure for you. Now, they are compartmentalized as well. With these being compartmentalized, when you're working on a product or working on it, working on anything, if you want to keep the nuts and bolts separated, you can do that with this. And again, with the small trays, that's what this is. That's what I really, really like this for. I can put, you know, if I'm taking something apart, I can keep everything uh, broken down, especially if it's the first time you're taking something apart and you don't know where it goes back. On the medium tray, you get a couple more compartments with, with it, and then you get a large area here this is good for wrenches and whatnot then the tool tray is uh, or the the large tool mat is is open here it's got some comp some compartments around the sides of it but the, this is open so that's good for all of your hand tools and whatnot then and then again everything fits together here but you know again with them being this very flexible silicone here they can just pretty much bend to anything you could put this on a truck tire if you're working on a truck tire and then put your tools inside here you're not going to have the slip on that just really really cool um, the way that it's set up they're like they are very very tear resistant and now you know to be able to have to tear this we really would have to cut a leading edge in this but just i mean you can see how far that that can be stretched doesn't tear um you know that's got it's got memory so it it it, it pops back into place uh, you know it, it doesn't stay stretched out it, it, it bounces right back really really cool um, they're very heat resistant they're heat resistant up to about 400 degrees on s and b's website they've got some cool videos of barry um, hitting these with open flame with some propane gas i brought a little heat gun that we use around the shop i carry in the truck with me it's a dewalt um, high side of this is supposed to get up to about 900 degrees but you can see I'll let you look directly onto the heat gun here. You can see it getting red. This gun will get hot enough to where you can't touch it. So it's definitely heat. I'm gonna pick a thin spot of this tray. This is one of the thinnest spots of it. I'm gonna put the heat gun on there and I'm gonna leave it for a few seconds. I'm gonna let it get red. You can kind of see in the reflection of the silicone, you can see the red there. And I'm very, very close to it. And it's so hot, it gets the tray so hot that you can't keep your hand on it. Doesn't start melting, doesn't drip, doesn't deform, doesn't do anything. So you're not gonna find anything in an engine compartment that is gonna be hotter than that right there that will obviously deform these trays so you don't have to worry about that. Out of this gun, after a couple of seconds, probably four or 500 degrees. I'm gonna check it with a temp sensor here real quick. Yeah, it's showing 402. I'm trying to do that backwards. <laughs> so 402 on the gun there. And yeah, 
yeah, it didn't deform or anything like that. So another nice thing about these is with them being flexible and the silicone being soft, they're not gonna mar the surfaces that you have them uh, laying on. So they're just really, really nice for that. I wanted to show you a product that we use around the shop here quite a bit and show you a little bit why this kind of serves a little bit of a different purpose when you're talking about tool tray. So um, this is a snap-on tool tray that we use and got a, uh, got a truck broke down down there. But it's magnetic and it's plastic. So the magnetic is really nice, keeps the parts together and whatnot. But that's really not what this is about. On the back side of this tray, you can see where it's magnetic. Look at that, there's another one. Just a little piece of metal that came off of there. It's magnetic and it holds all that crap on the back of that, on the back of that tray. So you gotta be really, really cautious of where you put this down. Uh, where you put that down, if it's got that crap on the back of it, it can scratch up the surface that you're working on. Your customers don't wanna see that. Your customers, you don't wanna do that to your customers' vehicles. Um, also, you have so many vehicles today that really don't are, are moving more and more to aluminum, so you're not gonna have as many magnetic surfaces to be able to use those on. That's where the silicone comes in again. An aluminum surface, don't have to worry about that. It's gonna stick to it. It's gonna be slip resistant, gonna hold your tools, hold the parts. Better mousetrap. They really did, really, really did a good job with this. It's a cool thing to see these manufacturers using um, the raw goods that they work in every day for the performance products that they make. Kind of thinking outside the box and coming up with different products that uh, just just make a make the world a better place to live in. So. Um, if you have any questions about this product or any of the S&B tool masks, just give us a call. We really appreciate it like, if you like and subscribe to our channel. And click the link below in our description to send you to the page where you can purchase these S&B tool mats. Thank you for watching.